good morning students once again i welcome you to my video lectures on signals and systems today i will work out in the last class i explained how to check system properties like causality and stability so in the case of causality so we have to examine the roc against the pole radius of maximum value that is maximum pole radius so if roc is is greater than is outside the pole radius of maximum value then it is said to be causal in the case of stability if all the poles of transfer function that is hfz if they lie inside a circle of unit radius then the system is said to be stable we shall apply given transfer function h of z equal to 3 minus 4 z to the power of minus 1 1 minus 3.5 z to the power of minus 1 plus 1.5 z to the power of minus 2 we have to check causality for three cases mod z greater than 3 mod z less than 0.5 and mod z between 0.5 and 3 first we shall have this in in terms of powers of z if you write in terms of powers of z 3 minus 4 by z divided by 1 minus i will write 3.5 as 7 by 2 z to the power of minus minus 1 and z to the power of minus 1 is taken to the denominator plus i will write 3 1.5 as 3 by 2 z to the power of minus 2 that is take lcm 3z minus 4 by z into z into now this is 2z square z into this z now take lcm 2z square minus 7z plus 3 plus 3 and this goes to the numerator 2z square 2z square z z cancels and here it is it is 2 into now take out 3 outside 3 into z minus 4 by 3 divided by factorize this 2z square Minus seven z plus three equal to zero. Two z square. Six one z six six plus one seven. Minus six z minus z plus three equal to zero. That is two z into z minus three minus one into z minus three equal to zero. Therefore, z minus three into two z minus one equal to zero. Therefore, here z minus three, two z minus one, or two into z into z minus four by three divided by z minus three. Take out two outside, two into z minus half, z minus half. Now, having having done these steps, now. What is ROC? ROC here is mod z greater than three. Mod z greater than three. Now here three. A circle of radius three. Outside three. That is ROC. This is ROC. What about poles here? There are two poles. Z d z minus three equal to zero. Z minus half equal to zero. So maximum pole radius is z equal to three. This one, not this. I will anyhow I will locate poles. First z equal to three, and z equal to half. Z equal to half. Now compare ROC. Now ROC. This is maximum radius. Radius that is three, and ROC is greater than this. therefore the system is causal the system is causal this is how uh, you have to come to conclusion now 
I will take the second case. Mar Z less than 0.5. Mar Z less than 0.5. ROC now is Mar Z less than 0.5. That is inside this circle. ROC. Now, ROC is inside the circle of maximum radius 3. Hence, the system cannot be causal. Non-causal. 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 You can also examine this by taking inverse Z transform for this. And one uh, and after that, one, one can also ensure that. But at the early stage, in the HS, HZ stage itself, we are checking the stability. Therefore, here in this problem, ROC is inside the circle of maximum radius 3. Hence, it is not causal. That is non-causal. Next. Next one is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Between 0 0.5 and 3. Between 0 0.5 and 3. ROC is between 0 0.5 and 3. This, this region. Between 0 0.5 and 3. So, if the ROC is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and the maximum circle radius is 3. So, ROC is inside the circle of radius, yes, radius of maximum pole. Hence, the system is not causal. It is not causal. It is not causal. So, while, while ensuring this causality property, it is in terms of ROC. You have to examine ROC against the pole value, maximum pole value. And you have to imagine a circle of maximum pole value. And whether ROC is exterior or not, you have to check. So this is how we have to check causality property uh, for the problems. In the next class, I will work out uh, problems on stability. Thank you.